Severe weather preparedness and awareness week is underway. Joining me now to talk about that is Sarah Dillingham, senior meteorologist with Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me, Imani. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us why this awareness week is so important. So this is a severe weather preparedness week. We want everybody's attention to be focused on the same thing. Uh, we know that certain parts of the country, severe weather can really impact you any time of the year, but this is the time where we can get everybody's minds on the same topic so that we can use these to um, hit on key mitigations that can make your home and business safer and more prepared before severe weather strikes this season. And talk more about that. What are some ways people can get their home severe weather ready? Well, some simple things that you can do that cost nothing. Actually, just take a walk around your home. Take a look and see if there's any loose items that you can bring into the home to prevent those pr from becoming windborne projectiles. Also, take a look at some of those uh, branches and trees around your home and, and see if there are any branches that are making you a little bit nervous and maybe you're a tree that uh, you've been meaning to cut down from, from time to time. Maybe get a licensed arborist to come out there and take a look at those, remove some of those for you. If there's some limbs that you can remove your, yourself and, and be safe, uh, recommend that you can do that because again that's something that can become windborne debris potentially break windows and then that allows wind to get into your home um, another relatively low cost thing you could do uh, is considering um, replacing your gutters and downspouts with the steel version how big of a difference will these tips make when it comes to preventing home damage when a major storm hits <laughs> Well, as I mentioned, that, that garage door, we see that vulnerability so many times uh, in, in low-end tornadoes, even that cause higher-end versions of damage, it seems like, but that is the entryway into the home. Um, these can be pretty low cost. I mean, a, a garage door is going to be a little bit more expensive, you know, maybe in the way of around $1,000, um, but it is something meaningful that you can do that's going to give your home that longevity. Also, having that relationship with your insurer so that you understand, what is my coverage? Am I ready for the next storm? Do I have um, all of my items documented? documented in case I need to make a claim, then that's really going to make that claims process much easier in the long run uh, and reduce that recovery time, hopefully, for your family. But these are a lot of different things that really are going to pay dividends in the long run uh, by trying to help keep your home from seeing damage. And then if you do, unfortunately, um, helping to, uh, to recover quickly. All righty, some good information there. Thank you so much again for being here today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Imani. Happy to do it. Thank you. And again, for more information, visit IBHS.org.